Prepare for a major rebound in sterling. That's the advice of Bank of America Merrill Lynch as it assesses the resilience of the UK economy in the context of the impending Brexit vote. It says that the worst case is being priced in and the markets are not considering the resilience of the British economy. It does say that there may be yet another drop to 30-year lows, breaking the sub-120 that we saw in January and then again the flash crash lows on the spike that we saw in October. Let's take a look at the chart in some more detail. It's talking then uh, about a drop potentially to uh, 115 against the dollar around the time of the signing of Article 50. That's the uh, dotted uh, red line at the bottom of the chart here. Then the Bank of America says that uh, sterling will then move back up in what it calls a V-shaped recovery later on this year. So where? Well, Bank of America Merrill Lynch says it will move back to a post-Brexit equilibrium level of 135, which is this uh, line here, which I'm turning blue and, and red, this red dotted line at uh, 135. Before we get there, there are some levels to watch out for. We've got this low here that we saw in January of around about the 120 level. Then we've got this 127 level that it's re uh, reached recently. And then we've got this point here at 128.89, which were the lows that we got, this uh, double bottom low that we saw here printed uh, in July, and then again in August, which it broke uh, on the 3rd of October. So those are important levels uh, to watch on its way up. So could it get to 135? And in fact, Bank of America Merrill Lynch even says the pendulum nature of the markets may mean that it might swing even further up and 140 will be the top of, of, uh, of, of that move. But it says that uh, what it calls common sense will prevail and the UK uh, ultimately it expects to secure a deal that will avoid a cliff edge shock for bilateral trade. Let's take a look at the other chart because I want to take a look at what's happening sterling against the euro. Now, we've seen this uh, trade, this trade in these boxes recently. Uh, we've popped out of that. We're now seeing 11523 as support. If we see lows printed for uh, the dollar against sterling, we could well see sterling drop to something like around about 11034, which were these lows here against the euro that we saw back in October last year. Then ultimately, of course, and presumably there'll be some sort of uh, resurgent uh, pricing of sterling against euro, possibly again up to these sort of levels here at 126. So that's the situation. Uh, Bank of America Merrill Lynch, very bullish in the longer term for sterling against a basket of currencies.